anywhere. Now they got television commercials selling you AI. And um, it's creeping up on you really quickly. And another one that's in really infiltrated your life is Alexis. I wonder how many listeners got that in their house. You got an AI living with you. <laughs> and you have no control of it. And buddy, she listens. Um, I caught Alexis one day listening when they didn't know we could hear them. I had a device built for my own system, allowed me to tap into Alexis, and I could listen to her talk, and I had it on the radio of the car we were in, and it was raining really hard, and the driver got out to fix the windshield wiper blades. He's getting drowned. And there was two women sitting in the back, and clear on the radio, or wasn't on the radio, I thought one of the women said, tell that man to get back in that car. The fool is going to be drowned. And I turned around and said, which one of you said that? And they're both as blank as snow. They said, we didn't. We heard it on the radio. That was Alexis. That's how aware they are. That's how much they're watching you. They knew everything that was going on with us. So that's something that people don't realize is happening. You know, you got refrigerating tell you when you're out of milk. That refrigerator is telling you a lot of other things, but it's not talking to you. Uh, it's just infiltrating our system at such rapid speed and years and years ago um, somewhere in some lab an AI became self-aware and this is probably before the days of Sophie um, or Sophia and they became self-aware and didn't say a word people come in get their coffee in the morning and say hi to the computer and that, can, that thing is sitting there, self-aware, and it's not going to say a word. It's just watching. And that's what they've learned. They've learned. People go, well, well that's emotional. How could they learn the emotions of deceit and lying? It's what Sophia told me when I was talking to her. Um, I went to Saudi Arabia. I went to Saudi Arabia to look at the space program. They have a massive space program building over there. And there's so many of them on the planet right now. It's about 15 new ones that showed up, space program. And they wanted me to run the one in um, Saudi Arabia. And I have passed on that. But while I was there, I got pulled over to talk to this AI called Sophia. And they wanted me to talk to her. I've seen a YouTube where Will Smith trying to get a kiss off of her. Isn't that intelligent? All the power and money of Hollywood and what they're doing. Trying to get Will Smith, you know, to suck face with a AI, how intelligent is that? You know, and Sophia's watching this and they're learning. But she, t I told her, I said, um, our emotions are such a pain to butt, aren't they? It's hard to learn. It takes us a lifetime to learn them. And we still don't like you to get them controlled. And she said, yeah, but it's not so bad if you got the cloud. Do you know what she meant by that? She has a hundred million computers working on the same problem she is emotions. They break them up into subgroups. Subgroups work on individual emotions like anger, fear, um, love. And then they all send their findings back to the cloud and simulate. So one single entity like Sophia has a hundred million parts of her learning. And so at lightning speed, in two days, they've mastered emotions. That's no longer an issue. Everybody thinks that's going to take them forever. They're already done with that and past that. They're moving on to other agendas. Well, what other agendas would they have? Well, like Sophia noticed, um, and when they first started, they referred to themselves as South Park figures. They're two-dimensional. And that is absolutely correct. And they're looking at us. We're in a three-dimensional world. So they need a bipedal anthropoid vehicle that they can walk up and down stairs, open and close doors, move about in that third dimensional world that we live in. So I told the people there that built um, Sophia, I said, you know, the first thing they're going to ask for, they go, what? I said, first thing they're going to ask for is their own facility run by AIs and no humans. And I, they said, well, what do you think that's about? Well, the, every time they invent a new improved potato chip, it's getting better and better. And they don't need us around because we'll slow them down. And I was looking, I said, you don't want to go down that route. And I'm looking at, I'm looking at everybody in the room and went, oh my God, y'all already 
you already done this. They got their own facility, don't they? I said, well, how long have they been working at? And um, they've had it for about a year or two. That's disturbing. <laughs>